To his children, dad is like a mighty oak. He is grounded and solid and steady. Even in his busy and demanding life, he has always been there when it mattered most to us. We have all faced life's challenges, from the seemingly small things like scraping our knees in a fall or battling nerves over singing in a concert, to bigger life moments like heading out to serve missions and choosing our eternal companions. We have even suffered through the pains of poor health and loss of spouses and children. In these times when we were hurting, Dad was always there to wipe away our tears, calm our troubled hearts, and soothe our aching souls. He has been our broad shoulder to cry on, and his chest was a peaceful place to rest our weary heads. Dad has always had a great sense of humor. We think he learned that from our mother, who never took herself too seriously and never let him do so either. He would pay shaky, play shaky bridges with us when he came home from work and would, more often than we wanted sometimes, tickle us until we cried for mercy. He was quick with a joke and ready to, for a laugh. He would tease us all into taking a, later, a lighter view of life. Dad never hesitated to call down the powers of heaven on our behalf. He gave us blessings when we were ill, troubled, or sad. When I was diagnosed with cancer a few years ago, Dad was devastated. He called the family together to fast and pray for me. I was in a world of fear and uncertainty. When the evening of the blessing came, he laid his hands upon my head and offered up a sweet prayer, pleading with the Lord for a blessing of strength, peace, and healing for me. Dad always gave us wise counsel and advice when we were confused and needing direction. He gave us encouragement to move forward with a positive mental attitude and an eternal perspective. He always helped us feel that things would work out. He shared in and celebrated family moments, from his own children down to his first great-great-grandchild. He made every effort to be supportive. He attended baptisms and blessings, sporting events, and high school performances, and was there to give us a hug, no matter the outcome. Years ago, my sister was living in San Diego. She had her first child, and her husband, who served in the Navy, was deployed. She was feeling lonely, so she drove home to visit. When it came time to head back, Dad didn't want her to drive home alone. He was assigned to a state conference that weekend, but he told her, I found someone to take the conference, and I am driving you home. We aim to live up to the example of our father and our beautiful mother. To each of his seven children and their spouses, Dad was always a father first and foremost, and each of his 43 grandchildren knew him best as their grandpa. Our mom was his everything, and he counted himself the luckiest man in the world to have won her heart. He would consistently remind us that his best sales job was winning her over. Sometimes in the last few years, he would even tease us that if mom was in heaven without him too long, she might find someone else she liked better. <laughs> mom has always been, and still is, his queen. It has been nearly 50 years of full-time service to the Savior for Dad. He never stopped pushing, never stopped ministering, never stopped loving. He was motivated in all things by his love of the Lord Jesus Christ. He carried a picture of the Savior in his coat pocket, and he would often hold it up and say how much he loved him and loved serving him. Before he passed away, he would often tell us, I still have a few things to do. But he will always have a few things to do, and Dad will never stop, never give up. As Craig has said, Dad was a man with incredible vision of what needed to be done and the wisdom of how to do it. He was a consensus builder, a problem solver, a unifier, a dear friend to many, and had a kind heart open to all. We will miss him. We rejoice in the promised blessing that he and Mom are together again 
and that families are together forever. The Lord prepared Dad to do a great work here on earth, and the world is truly a better place because he was in it. We are certain he and Mom are already hard at work beyond the veil. We love you, Daddy. Take Mama dancing. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen.